Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to blur faces and license plates using GIMP. Now GIMP is a photo editor. It's open source and free, so if you don't have it, you can download it for free. So I've got this image and I got it down from Pixabay and it's of a crowd and there are a bunch of faces in it and we're going to blur some of them. So the first thing we're going to do is go over here to the right uh, where the layers are and go duplicate layer. Uh, so we duplicated the layer and um, the bottom layer we're going to leave in focus. The top layer we're going to blur and then we're going to create a mask. So just the areas or the faces where, where we want to um, blur are, are going to be visible from this layer because that's where it will be blurred. You can use the same process uh, with license plates as you can with faces here or any other object actually. So now we'll highlight the upper layer and we're going to go up here to filters. We're going to go to blur and we're going to go to Gaussian. Now we're going to take this XY and uh, move it. And you can see it started to blur here. We want to blur it enough so that there's a hint of that there are facial features, but they're, they're not recognizable. And it depends on the face a lot of times. Right now, these faces are still, if you knew the person, they, they're recognizable. And so we're going to move it over a little more and you'll see it gets more blurred. This woman's face might still be even recognizable at this level. So you have to kind of decide. You don't want it so blurred that it's just a blob of color there because it looks a little bit better if there's a little bit of, of detail to indicate there is a face uh, that's out of focus, basically. Uh, we'll go with this level right here, I think. And uh, we'll go OK. Now, the next thing we need to do is create a mask for this level. So we'll select the upper level or make sure it's still selected. And we'll go to mask and we'll go add layer mask. We're going to select here black, full transparency. Black, everything beneath it will show up. Uh, white, um, everything on the upper layer will show. So we're going to go click and add. And so now we're seeing this bottom layer because of uh, the top layer is totally transparent until we put in some uh, white paint with a mask. So you want to make sure that this is white up here. If it's black or a different color, change it to white or switch these two colors so it's to white. Uh, we're going to go to... Uh, We're going to go to the brush right here and uh, you can actually change this. I think we want the opacity up at 100% here. We want that we can mess with the size on this. So, so set the size to what you want on the brush um, and we can set the hardness. You don't want it all the way up hard. You want kind of a soft edge because it will look a little bit better. So once you get the brush the way you want it, we can go on here and we can and you can see the size of the brush by the circle here. And we're going to just go around this face. Now you can you can blur as much or as little of it as you want. So if you just wanted to blur the eyes, you could, or just the face. Or you could go do the hair as well, or the hairline, or the entire head. So whatever you think looks best in your particular photograph or situation. So now you can see that we've um, blurred this woman's face here. We can also blur this woman's face right here. And the nice thing about this is we could actually make the brush smaller and go in closer and not hit this guy's head or his ear or anything. We just kind of and make sure we get everything out there so you can go into any amount of detail and if somebody's face is half hidden you can just get their face uh, as long as you just zoom in and just brush brush sizes and such so you have a lot of control over it now if we turn off this top layer you can see everything's really in focus so that's what the layer on and that's what the layer off so you can always go back and if you decide you want everybody's face visible you can turn off the layer or you can even create a new layer mask and uh, change which faces are out of focus so that's how you
blur faces and license plates using GIMP. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.